Let me go over today's agenda first. So today we are going to start off with math workshops until about 11.30. At 11.30 we will switch over to science. In science we are going to watch three short videos. You're going to answer two short questions, okay? Um, as of right now, I only have one math workshop in modules, and I did that on purpose. I want to see if we can't keep it simple, so I want you to do one math workshop, and then you'll do Prodigy or Epic. But, like I said, I'm going to be pulling small groups. What that means is, here in a minute, I will tell you who those people are. And what we will do is I will put a link in the chat and only those people coming into the small group with me will click that link and we will go to a separate meeting. I am going to mute the main meeting, okay? So all of you will still see me. You will all still see me. But I am going to be in another Google Meets doing a small group review lesson with them. So. If you have questions in this main meeting, you're going to have to chat your questions and answer them amongst each other. The chat is not for personal use. It's not to discuss your animals. It's not to discuss your personal life. It is for your online learning. It is so that you guys can help each other, okay? Only only in knowing what to do. And you're going to have some people that are going to pop into this meeting and go, I was late. What do I do? Just type it in. Go do math workshops. We're in math workshops. She's working with another group. Okay. Are there any questions about what we need to be doing right now? All right. Let me, I'm assuming you all are good. So I am going to, I'm sorry. Guys, when you have a question, you need to raise your hand. We don't just unmute. We, I cannot have you unmuting. You have to raise your hand, wave at me. I don't know. But don't unmute. Please do not unmute. Do not unmute. Oh, I don't need that. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna put in the chat. These are, oh, it's not there. Okay, so I'm gonna change this one for Keegan. All right, I want, nope, that's not gonna work either. Who is with me right now? Let me see. Let's do, okay. I don't know. All right, so I want these four people to meet me in the other chat, okay? These four people and these four people only. Only these four people are to meet me in the chat. All right, um, first let me, why is this, oh, there it is. First let me, okay, I'm presenting that one. Okay, you guys are presenting. I need these four people to meet me in the other Google Meets. I would like to see um, only these, only these four people. Keegan, Anli is not here. Angie and Malelatai want you four people to meet me in, yes, Angie, click on the link in the chat. Oh, okay. Click on the link in the chat. Only those four people. I thought that it wasn't No, no, no. Now you're going to have to mute this one and go to that one. The rest of you, I am going to mute. Do you understand? I am muting. Hang on 
minute. I gotta switch. You need a sheet of paper and something to write with, okay? Can you grab a sheet of paper and something to write with? You need a sheet of paper and something to write with. One, two. Got it? All right, um, that one's mute. I'm coming back to you guys. Y'all ready? Okay, can y'all see my screen? Okay, so here's what we are going to do. We are going to um, talk about place value. You do not have to write this down yet. Don't write this down yet. We're gonna talk about place value times 10 and times 110. Are you with me? Okay, you don't have to write this down yet. We're talking about place value times 10 and times 110. Times 10 means you move left on place value chart. Okay. Um, Angie, can you go on mute? No, you're fine. All right. Okay, let's let's go on mute while I'm doing this, and then I'll let you know when you can unmute, okay? Okay. All right. Times one-tenth means you move right on place value chart. Okay? Are y'all with me so far? Okay, so let's say I'm going to do a different place value chart. Are y'all writing that down? You don't have to write that down. You don't have to write this down. Okay, uh, this is, this is, I am kind of reteaching. This is gonna be our process every single day. I'm trying to streamline what we do so that it's simple, it's straightforward, and it is the same thing every single day. So every single day, we're gonna come in, and unless it's a testing day or something weird going on, we're gonna come in, and the first thing we're gonna do is you're gonna do math workshops for the first 25 to 30 minutes. I'm pulling a small group in a separate Google meeting. You're still going to see me and I'm going to be talking, but I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to my small group, okay? It's going to be like this every single day. Some of you are going to be in the meeting and some of you won't. I'm going to do one group Monday and Tuesday. I'm going to do a different group Wednesday and Thursday. And then Friday, it's going to be a different group as well, okay? But we're required to get those math minutes in and that's how we're going to do it. But... At this point, what we are going to do is we're going to start science. And I want to make sure that everybody can get to where they need to go. So what I need you to do right now is I need everybody to go get on their Mrs. Metz Canvas homepage. Go to Mrs. Metz Canvas homepage. And I'm going to see if I can get mine on there too. The Mrs. Metz Canvas homepage. All right, we want to go to Mrs. Metz Canvas homepage. 
and you know that from now on, we have a warm-up in science that we do every single day. Whether we are on computer or in person, we are going to have this warm-up. And to find that warm-up, can everybody see my screen? Can everybody see my screen? I want everybody to look at my screen real quick because I still... I know that um, he, I I know that by having some students in the class, some students do not know where to go, and so I want to make sure that everybody knows where to go. So, once you're on my home page, you can see over to the left. You see a list of you have a menu: home, announcement, or yeah, you have home, announcements, syllabus discussions, or you have modules, discussions, grades, and a couple of other things, contributions. Your warm-up is in discussions, but I need you to listen because some people are not clicking on the right things. And this is where I'm not gonna help you if you're not listening, okay? Because if I have to say it 10 times, it's because you're choosing not to be present with me. You may be physically here in the meeting, but you're mentally checked out. I can't help you. If you are not here to learn, there's nothing I can do for you, okay? So, warm-ups are in discussions. So you go to the home page and you click on discussions. So that's what I'm clicking on is discussions. My computer's a little slow. Inside of the discussions, you will see the date first. In the bottom left right hand corner of your computer screen should be a date. Mine has the time and the date. So I know that it's 11.35 a.m. It is 9.14.2020. So you're gonna go click on the title of that warmup. It needs to be the little hand and able for you to click on it or it won't work. Click on the title where it says 914-2020 Warm-Up Force in Motion 2. So when you click on that, if your screen does not give you a reply, if you do not have a spot where you can click on reply, you need to go back out and try it again because you did not click something properly, okay? There's other things that you can click on and it'll take you somewhere and it'll kind of look like this, but it doesn't give you the option to reply. If you do not have the option to reply, you need to go back to the home page, click on discussions, click on the title. Then you click reply. Scroll down. This is where you type your answer to the warm up. What needs to happen in order to change the direction of the ball? This is where you type in your answer, okay? Once you're done typing, you click post reply. Now again, I, I, in, in my last two classes, I hit, said, okay, you got five minutes to work and only about four people in each one did it. Those are zeros if you don't do it. Big fat goose eggs. So if you don't know what to do, now is the time to tell me. Not five days from now, not in 30 minutes. Right now. Right now is the time to tell me you don't have a discussion. You don't know where to go. Now, am I going to be aggravated? Absolutely. Because I just told you step by step how to get into these discussions. And if you didn't hear me, then that tells me you're not all in. And we have to be all in. By week five, I should not be telling you how to use your computer anymore. You should be completely able to navigate Canvas on all spectrums. So, at this point, nobody's waving at me. Nobody's asking any questions, so I assume that you all know what to do and I can set a timer for five minutes. Yes? All right, setting a timer for five minutes. You have five minutes to go into the discussions and reply to the 914-2020 warm-up.
we are going to change over to today's assignment. So um, assignments, if you go back to the Mrs. Met's homepage, go back to Mrs. Met's home. Okay. Scroll down to um, week five. I can't find my mouse. Scroll down to weekly modules, week five. It is, and if you've noticed, I gotta figure out a way to hide the rest of them. Apparently I can hide the rest of the weeks. If you noticed, there is only week five, day one, Monday in there for science. Week five, adding and subtracting the whole numbers workshops. And there is, for social studies, you may or may not see it depending on whether or not you are in my homeroom. But as you can tell, I only have one in there for each because I, I wanted, I'm trying to keep this um, a little bit more simple, if you will. So I am going to click on it. I am actually going to change what I'm sharing so that you can actually hear the sound. So give me a second. I am going to show you these three videos. I'm going to show them to you. When I'm done showing you these three videos, then you are going to go in and if you scroll down past these videos, there is a, um, there's a survey. It says survey, it's more like a quiz, but if I click on it, click on the green button at the bottom so that you can answer the survey questions. <clears throat> There's only two questions, just two questions. One of them is, give two facts about volume you just learned from the video. The second one is, give two facts about density you just learned from the video. So clearly, we're going to be talking about volume and density, okay? So we're going to watch these videos today. You're going to answer those two questions. Once you do that and you hit submit, then you can go back and finish your math workshops, you can get on Prodigy or you can get on Epic. Does anybody have any questions about what we are doing right now? Wave at me if you do, or are you good? You know what we're doing, right? All right, I'm gonna get these videos started. Yes, Angie. Where do you think it is? I'm going to show you the videos when I, okay. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. 
All right, we are going to make sure you're on mute. This is the last video, so we're going to watch this last one. It's not very long, and then you will have a chance to uh, answer the two questions to complete this assignment. And guys, there's no right or wrong answers with these. It is literally just asking you two facts to make sure that you are paying attention. Two facts about volume and two facts about density. I just want to make sure that you're actually paying attention to these videos, okay? So I am going to go ahead and play this last one. And then I will give you a couple of minutes to finish the two questions. And of course, if you don't finish them right now during science time, it's homework. Did y'all even watch the whole thing? Oh, I think you did. It's not a very long one. It's only a minute and a half, right? Do you need to watch it again? Rylan. Hang on just a second. So... If you need to go back and watch any of these videos, they are on the assignment. Yeah, I'm, I'm on mute. All right. It takes me a minute to figure out that I'm on mute. Um, if you need to go back and watch these three videos and able to answer the questions, that's fine. But literally, if you go down to the bottom of this assignment, it's asking you two questions and it's wanting four things. Give two facts about the volume, about, about volume, just volume in general. What did you learn about volume? Give me two things you just learned about volume. And the next one is write two things that you just learned about density. Now, when you go to submit this, after you're done typing and it says submit quiz down here, you're not going to see a grade because I have to go read it, okay? So it may take me a few days to get a grade out of it. But essentially, if I can tell that you were paying attention, it's 100. 
I'm not asking you to write me a novel. I'm not asking you a multiple choice question. All I'm asking you to do is prove that you are paying attention to these three videos and that's all. Okay. So it is in that same assignment, week five, day one, Monday. I'm putting the day of the week in there now so that you can kind of navigate it a little bit better. Like I said, I'm learning as I go, just like you're learning as you go, as you go. And I'm hoping this gets a whole lot more simple as we move on. But it's introduction to volume and density. It is in week five modules. So just go click on all of those, scroll down, answer the two questions, and make sure that you submit the quiz.